Hi everyone, my name is Sana Agong Tadewi. Most of people call me Sandra. I'm from B3 class. And in this video, I'm going to analyze a novel titled Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivations. So this novel have background of ancient Chinese story and talk about uh, dark superpower and cultivations and swordsman and also archery. So uh, there's a kind of like a part I'm going to tell you that I analyzed from this novel. The first part is plot. So I'm gonna explain the plot to you, the plot of this novel. So, uh, this novel, The Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivations, follows Wei Wuxian and Lang Wangji as cultivators with supernatural powers from different worlds who are forced to work together to protect the peace in their worlds. The two white villains solve a series of murders and uncover a dark mystery. As the grandmaster who founded the demonic sect, um, Wei Wuxian roamed the world in his went and waste, um, healed by million. Oh, I'm sorry, hate by millions of peoples for the chaos that doesn't even he who created. And in the end, he was backstabbed by his dearest Shidi or best friend, and killed by powerful clans that combined to overpower him. He incarnates into the body of Lunatic, who was abandoned by his clan and is later unwillingly taken up away by a famous cultivator among the clans, Lang Wangji, his arch enemy. Uh, this marks the start of a thrilling yet hilarious journey of attacking monster, solving mysteries, and raising children. <laughs> yes, so the story tells that Wei Wuxian and Lang Wangji they bought together raising children that not their children. And uh, from the mutual flirtation along the way, uh, Wei Wuxian slowly realized that Lang Wangji, a seemingly haughty and indifferent poker face, holds more feelings for Wei Wuxian than he is letting on. So um, for the next thing, I'm gonna explain to you. Okay, so we move to the next uh, part of analyzing in this story. So the next part was uh, characters. I'm gonna explain the main characters only in this novel who really related to the point characters that is Wei Wuxian. So the main characters I'm gonna explain first is Wei Wuxian. Uh, so Wei Wuxian, also known as Wei Ying or Yiling Patriarch, or in Chinese we call it Yiling Lao Zuo, uh, orphaned by his servant parents at the young age, Wei, Wei Wuxian later becomes a skilled sword fighter and archer, and it's fiercely loyal. He is also rather outspoken, desiring to kind his own path in the world. And then, the second characters that related to Wei Wuxian is Lang Wangji. Okay, Lang Wangji's birthday name birth name is Lang Zhang, and his title is Hang Wangjun. But he is also called Second Master Lan in Gusu sect. In the novel, Lang Wangji is raised by the Gusu Lan sect by his uh, uncle Lan Chiran. After losing his parents, um, Lang Wangji is after losing his parents, he is adopted by his uncle in the Gusu sect. Then, uh, Lang Wangji is Wei Wuxian's literal, literally foil in this novel, but their mutual sense of loyalty. Third character is Wei Wuxian adopt brothers, Zhang Zheng. One of the most polarizing characters in this novel, Zhang Zheng becomes the brother of Wei Wuxian when he is adopted by Jiang Feng Nian, or Zhang Zheng and Jiang Yanli's father. Four characters is uh, adopt sister of Wei Wuxian, that is Jiang Yanli. So Jiang Yanli is Zhang Zheng's older sister. Jiang Yanli has a heart of gold and is always trying to bring her brothers together through emotional support. So Wei Wuxian is really, really love uh, Jiang Yanli, but not his Roman's way, but in family way, like his siblings' way. Uh, he is really, really care for Jiang Yanli. 
and in the end, Jiang Yongli was dead. <laughs> okay, we, make, we move to the next character. The fifth character is Wen Ning, the right hand man of Wei Wuxian. So, Wen Ning, uh, during, his yelling, uh, during Wei Wuxian Yiling Patriarch's days, he's also called as Ghost Journal by other people. Uh, Wen Ning grew to trust Wei Wuxian after being showered with kindness by him. We move to the uh, next character. Sixth character is sixth character is Lan Xichen. So Lan Xichen is the leader of the Lan sect who wields the Shuo Ye sword and the Lie Bing flute, aka Lan Wanji's elder brother. The last character I'm gonna explain to you is Nie Wai Sang. Nie Wai Sang is the mastermind of all the plots of the stories that occur in this novel. Coming from the Qing He Nie sect, Ni Huai San designed everything in order to avenge her brother's death. So that's all for the main characters I explained to you. So we move to the next part. So the next part is uh, I'm going to explain the narrator point of view, which is me. I'm going to explain the point of view from myself. So in my opinion, this story is very exciting because this novel tells the story of the ancient Chinese era namely the era of Chinese warriors and cultivation. So in this story, there are five great sects to be the point of the story in this novel. The first is Gu Su Lan, Yun Men Jiang, uh, Lan Lin Jing, Qing He Nie, and Qi San Wen. A young man who is friendly, nosy, and smart is the starting point of the story, that is Wei Wuxian. So Wei Wuxian is adopted son of Yun Men Jiang sect, together with his two adopted brother and sister, Jiang Zheng and Jiang Yanli. He cultivates to the Gusulan sect, which is tricked by rules. Gusulan sect is having like uh, three, uh, 3,000 rule, if I can remember, 3,000 rules. And actually, Wei Wuxian does not feel at home in the sect, but whatever. Wei Wuxian then meets Lang Wangji. Uh, the second young master in the Gusulan sect, together they solve the mystery about the evil power uh, that comes from the yin iron created by the Wen sect, and also they face the Wen army, which is very evil and cruel. And uh, yes, uh, they, they together fight the Wen army, which is very evil, and Wei Wuxian was successfully defeated uh, by the Wen sect troops, and he was banished to the Yiling Mountains, and that place is where the Yin Iron was first found, and that place too is where he started demonic cultivation, so he could survive and take his revenge on the Wen sect and save the sect that was destroyed by the sect, uh, by the Wen sect. Lots, uh, for me, this novel is really unique. It contains a lot of plot twists and it's very interesting. So, I'm gonna move to the next part. So, the next part is symbol symbolism. So, in this novel, there's a lot of symbolism that we can found. First is yin iron, the point of this story, because there, if there's not yin iron in the story, the story will not go so long and there's no ending for the story of this novel. Second is Wei Wuxian Flute. Wei Wuxian Flute is the symbolism of the dark magic, the dark superpowers. Because uh, if Wei Wuxian play his flute, that everyone's minds could be controlled by him. Like ghosts, or even humans, or even gods. He can control everything with that flute, with the dark magic inside of the flute. The second is Gu Qin. Gu Qin is like the string Thing that that everyone plays for healing for healing someone or somebody from the dark magic inside of them if someone got a dark magic inside of them so the other people playing Guchin so they can heal the people who got black magic and then the next part is the atmosphere of this story for me the atmosphere of this story it contains a dark atmosphere and kind of like hilarious atmosphere so, okay, so the next thing, is the next part is style. Style, for me, uh, is 
uh, he have like a unique style of this story because he has a lot of plot twist. And the next thing is time and place. The time of and place to take in this novel is back in the ancient Chinese. Uh, uh, of course, in Chinese. And the last part I'm gonna explain to you is themes. Okay, so the next part is themes. Themes for this novel uh, is reincarnation, ancient Chinese, sword, archery, and demonic. Also, the last thing is cultivations. So that's all the parts that I analyzed from this novel and I could tell in this video. So I'm really sorry if I tell something wrong to you guys and uh, so yeah. Uh, thank you so much for listening to me and watching this video till the end. Um, once again, thank you so much and goodbye.